Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, during the campaign and before the 2022 general election, there was something that united Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta. And in their unity of campaign and support, there were things that they had promised Kenyans and they were going to put it in a document to make sure that those proposals are being implemented. First of all, it was about the unity of the country by trying to solve the issue of uh, election and favorism by the IBC. So in that way, Uhuru decided to support Raila Odinga. But above all, there were other things they were pushing, something that brought them together, BBI, Building Bridges Initiative. Which bridges were they building? <laughs> Which came in as a result of the handshake. In that BBI, two things were so much important. Number one, there was a promise to increase revenue shared across the countries, whereby they had promised to give 45% of the total revenue collected. Right now, according to the law, it should not be below 15%. So it should be 15 and above. They promised 45% and they wanted to put it on paper. BBI. Secondly, there was the issue of how to share this revenue according to the population. One man, one vote, one shilling. This was something good, especially for people of Mount Kenya region and other areas like Western region, Nairobi and elsewhere. But of course, it was going to affect in one way or another some individuals in um, uh, Rift Valley. Rift Valley is very huge. Then you're talking, you're talking about the Eastern region. But in all this, surprisingly, most of the current elected leaders in Mount Kenya region opposed BBI simply because it was being pushed for by two individuals, Uhuru Migai Kenyatta and Raila Molo Odinga. They knew it was good. It was a good thing for the region. But they rejected BBI. Then as we're speaking now, the Mount Kenya region Governors were meeting the CRA, and now governors are reviving the push for one man, one vote, one shilling. And for start ahead, they are saying that I have quoted the Nyeri governor, <laughs> he's saying, for a start, for any count to run. So that all functions are operational, at least seven billion minimum across here. Do you forty five percent as the mayor Queen Ongea? Now he could add a tier in as the mayor. He the building bridges initiative. They rejected. Today they are here crying for that. Then the other issue of one man, one vote, one shilling. That to pay what pesa kulengana na. Kiwango cha watu kule wanatoka. Unaitaji manelo ya inaio kwa sababu pia katika ushuru, it is reflecting that they have given more. Why are they crying now? When they opposed it simply because they wanted William Ruto. Now Ruto is the president who did not support this and they incited them against this bill and this push. Something that was going to bring some change in the constitution to make sure that we are growing our counties to another level. First and foremost, we have 47 counties. It's pointless to start speaking about sharing if none of the, if any of those counties are not working. We must make sure, sit here and ask ourselves, for one county to be working in Kenya today, what is the minimum we must give every county across 
this country. Regardless of whether Lamu has, Lamu has 110,000 people, Nyeri has a million, Kakamega has two, Kiambu has three. Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm a Kenyan. And if Kenya will develop, let us stop. You know, we are still working around the colonial mentalism. Can we ensure that we sit down as CRA and say, and I'm giving you, I have been a governor twice. The minimum you need for any county to be operational is seven billion. Weka here. Take that one, and even if you give seven and don't give anything else, let them go and everybody will survive. So let's review that. What is the basic share for every county to be operational? One of the things I would want the CRA to ask themselves this question. You talk a lot about, oh, you want to incentivize, I don't know whom to do what, increase revenue. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Who bakes the cake? Because once we ask ourselves that question, as commissioners, as governors, as Kenyans, then we will not give someone a knife and another one a panga to go and eat the cake. Because it's already telling us that one is advantaged, the other one is and so we must start with the key. Now that we are here, we want to discuss, you have listened to others. Can we look for the knife that we shall give everybody, an equal knife, the same size, to cut the cake? If we do not do that, then let us ask ourselves, who brought the flour, who brought the eggs, who did the baking? But we can't wake up one morning when the cake is ready. All of us now come and start saying, let us start by having it equally. Where were you when we were baking it? We must ask, have you asked yourself that question? When I look at your formula, whether the first, the second, or the third, it doesn't appear. Because CRA, in terms of equity, and thinking about the future cake, must also incentivize those that are producing. Why are you not looking at that? If you want a bigger cake next year. We are only saying, so if you reduce Muranga's ability to produce coffee, Muranga's ability to produce avocado, what will happen to our GDP the year after? Now we are continuing this final discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. There are complaints being raised that one person has been given a pang, another one has been given a knife, and the cake is the same. Everyone has to go and cut their share. Of course, the one with the panga is advantaged to the disadvantage of the one with the knife. The one with the knife will cut small because of the size of the Tool has been given to cut the cake. But the one with the panga, of course, will have a big share. That is true. But we had a chance. There was a chance to make a decision. And this is the decision that the people of Mount Kenya region made because they, over, they overwhelmingly opposed BBI. Why cry fall now? The question about who is baking the cake had been answered in the BBI, but they rejected that answer. Today they are asking us who is baking the cake in terms of who has baked the big cake, what amount of the cake, the quality and the quantity of the cake. They will now want us to answer it now when they had a chance to answer this and it was in the BBI. They refused now they are here today. So tell us, how do you expect this answer to be? Uh, how do you expect this question to be answered today with a man who opposed to BBI? Ruto has no answer for you. Why? Because even most areas in Rift Valley, they were going to be affected. Because we are talking about population versus landmass. In fact, they have been getting more resources because of the landmass and the, the historical injustice in terms of development. They were left behind because Moi was focusing on areas where there is 
resources so you develop those areas then you also focus on his own challenging region so many areas were left behind but counties came in which even mount kenya was rejecting the trail of dinga and later mambo ya majimbo so why are mount kenya region governors waking up from slumber this much late i believe and i am convinced that ruto will not give a solution to this there are things that will not allow them to happen. In fact, this government has shown appetite to hold on most of the sources up there, but not bring it down. They even during their campaign lied to us that they are going to implement 15% that BBI was proposing. That they don't need to change the constitution to implement 15, 45%. Well, it's my evil. Campaign in Asia had to order Mwishmiya William Ruto a credit of 45%. Even just talk about 30 percent, they're not giving. So what are you talking about? What are you telling people now? Do you believe that William Ruto is going to listen to these people? A man who has shown appetite to hold the resources there, a man who wants to walk across the country, showing that he's the one giving everyone everything. Because we have a person who is behaving like Moy. That's why people are saying that. We have the living and the breathing moi of our times who want to come on ground to show you that I'm bringing this resource to look like it is his own resource that is bringing to us, forgetting it is our tax. Yenyanataka kurudisha huko akileta. Sio pesa zake, ni ushuru wa wananchi, lakini akikuja anataka aonekane yeye ndiye ameleta ziko hapo kwa sababu yake. Such kind of behavior. This behavior was rejected through BBI. They wanted to give governors more money so that they can run counties and let ESCC and DCI play their, play their role. Kwa kisha tumekupea bilioni saba. Zumetumika kufanda kazi kibipi. Can you be accountable? If not, wewe shikwa dili na mambo yako kwa koti. But we should not fear that if you give governors more money, uh, we are, uh, uh, you know, increasing corruption down there that to supply corruption huko chini that we are devolving yeah that's the word I was looking for that we are devolving corruption no you simply give money and allow government institution to work freely without interference so this question that these people are pushing for cannot be answered by this regime the answer was in uhuru kenyatta the answer was in Raila Odinga, and the answer was in the name of BBI. Something that will be in our constitution so that it will be respected. So that when you do anything that is against the constitution, you can be taken to court or rejected. Well, you can tell you, Mambo is going your constitution through the BBI. Because BBI was coming in to change something in the constitution and bring some improvement on that. So that it is anchored in the law and the constitution of Kenya. Walikata. Sasa wanauliza mwingine amepewa panga, mwingine amepewa kisu. Ndio hiyo kisu ndio mmepewa, mtatumia hiyo. Wale wapanga wanaelea they will continue enjoying panga mpaka when we we'll have another regime. But this one, my friend, it will not because they told us that you don't need to change the constitution. They can still give 45% without BBI. That the BBI was going to cost Kenyans in terms of they will need to have a referendum. So avoiding referendum and voting William Ruto, believing him to be implement that which was in a BBI, which he never believed in, which he never supported, how it cannot work. Period. So it is time to learn a political lesson so that any other time when you have an election, you will have a second thought as you cast your vote.